now you are ready. For what? A new beginning. The fourth main game in the series started in 2005. The simply titled God of War is Santa Monica Studio and Sony Entertainment America's attempt at a revamp of a long-standing series of the same name. Having not seen an entry since 2013 to middling reviews, the series was indeed due for a restructuring. And that is where, with a wing and a prayer, Santa Monica found itself in God of War's production. God of War is the flagship series of Santa Monica Studios, gaining it a myriad of projects from Sony, some good and some admittedly very bad. Titles such as Warhawk, Flower, the Pixel Junk series, PlayStation All-Stars, Everybody's Gone to Rapture, and The Order 1886. Needless to say, few could believe their eyes when they first showed the trailer for God of War at the 2016 E3 Expo. Oh my God. Oh my God. So what, and who, is God of War? Departing from its hack and slash origins, God of War is an open-world action-adventure game starring, you guessed it, the God of War Kratos and his charming son Atreus. Kratos, our loving father. Get in the boat, boy. 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 This way, boy. Slow down, boy. We do what we please, boy. Is a gruff and hardened man with a killer new beard and a mysterious past. Our new addition to the series, Atreus, is quite the foil to our seasoned veteran, full of youthful optimism and naivete. The game starts with the death of Kratos' wife, and by extension, Atreus' mother, with our protagonist preparing to indulge her final request. Taking her ashes to the highest peak in the realms. Ashes? It was her last wish. Where must we go? To a realm beyond your own. This goal, however, is interrupted by the arrival of an unexplained guest, who wishes for nothing more but to test the might of the long-hidden god of war. In the ensuing scuffle, Kratos learns the gods of Asgard, the home of the Norse pantheon, have suspicions of Kratos' past and want to make it clear he is unwelcome. Fearing the worst, the duo flees away from their long-settled home to accomplish their mission. This sudden tension leaves far more questions than it answers, however, as fans of the series are left to grapple with many new realizations and newcomers are left to forge on through the unforgiving Nordic realms. As was mentioned before, 2018's God of War is a vast departure from its predecessors, but how does it do this? God of War is non-linear unlike its previous titles, giving players access to nine realms to explore on their quest. The increased design focus on puzzle solving and limitation of Kratos' armory in favor of for a single axe and RPG style equipment lend themselves well to the new direction. But perhaps even more importantly is the focus on the narrative aspect of video games. We see the modern Kratos as an almost haggard old man long past the days of a bloodthirsty warrior of Sparta. The story focuses on the relationship of a father to his son and Kratos' inner struggle to atone for the sins of his past life. The heavy, orchestral music and dark, cool color palette of the game reflect this. The game still excels in its staple, however, melee combat, albeit far heavier and unforgiving, akin to games of the Dark Souls series. After the player is able to accept these facts and overcomes them to defeat their first troll, with the aid of Atreus, of course, the reality of the rules of the new world they find themselves in will have become clear. Admittedly, outside the goal of bringing the series to a new generation of gamers, the new God of War doesn't bring anything revolutionary to the medium. It is a solid story of redemption and the trials of fatherhood, surpassing even the likes of popular titles like Last of Us, but it is still a commercial product. Its themes of effects of war on those that outlive it and the battles of humanity versus the cold cruelty of those that deem themselves gods are not to be understated, however. If I could be so bold, I would compare works of art like this to be akin to a modern generation's Odyssey or Iliad. Powerful statements on the nature of humankind under the guise of a fantasy world. For my final thoughts, I'd like to say that I personally believe Santa Monica's newest rendition of God of War to not only be the best yet, but one of the best games available to date. While it is not without its faults, with a somewhat steep barrier to entry and a dependence on an understanding of the previous titles to enjoy the full experience, the freedom and transparency of this new title is a breath of fresh air. 
my recommendation? Any adult gamer looking for a unique experience among Sony's repertoire should not hesitate to give it a try with the encroaching sales of Black Friday. You won't regret it.